Welcome to the CSSN channel. Our topic for today is how stress can affect your muscle mass. My name is Abuzar Habibinia. I have an MD degree and I'm the director of the Canadian Academy of Sports Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube to enjoy the information that we share on a weekly basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness, and sports nutrition. Stress and muscle mass. This is our topic for today. Stress is a part of our lives and there's no way to avoid it 100%, but definitely we can manage it properly to minimize the negative effects of stress on our bodies. But let's see how stress is going to affect uh, muscle mass. When you go through stress, especially if stress becomes chronic, it's going to cause lots of trouble. Stress could be physical or emotional. Physical stress, like you have a couple of jobs, from one job you go to the second job, you do it properly, you, you don't sleep uh, properly. Emotional stress, like you, you lose a loved one, you go through a divorce, you are behind your mortgage, you, you, you lose your job. Uh, basically, any kind of stress uh, in the body, I'm going to put in here, any kind of stress is going to lead to the release of more of the hormone which is called uh, cortisol. This is famous as a stress hormone. That doesn't mean that your body is going to release cortisol only when you are under stress. No. We have already cortisol in the body. Even during your happiest hours of your life, that uh, there is zero stress, still you have cortisol. Without cortisol, we cannot survive. Without cortisol, we die. But if your body releases too much, it's gonna create a chaos, like water. Without water, we cannot survive. But if it's too much, it could kill us as well. So, when the uh, level of cortisol in the body increased because of stress, or sometimes because of some certain diseases that I'm gonna talk later about them, it's gonna affect every single organ in the body. Cortisol is going to affect the metabolism of carb, protein, fat, liver, muscles, even immune system. But today I'm going to show you how cortisol is going to damage basically uh, muscle mass. Cortisol is going to affect uh, two organs, liver and muscles. Cortisol is going to affect the liver. When cortisol affects the liver, this is going to happen. The transport of amino acids to outside the liver is going to go down. So I'm going to put in here uh, decreases uh, transport of amino acids to uh, outside of the liver. Okay. When less amino acids are transferred outside the liver, this is going to lead to decreased protein synthesis. Decreased protein synthesis, and this means decreased muscle mass. Okay? Now, on the other side, cortisol is going to affect your muscle. When too much cortisol uh, basically uh, affect your muscle, this is going to happen. We're going to have protein breakdown inside the muscles. So I'm going to put in here increases uh, protein breakdown. Increased protein breakdown is going to lead to decreased protein synthesis. And this one is going to lead to decreased muscle mass. This is how cortisol is going to affect your muscle mass. On one side, too much cortisol is going to affect the liver, is going to decrease the transport of amino acids to outside the liver, which is going to lead to decreased protein synthesis, decreased muscle mass. And on the other side, cortisol is going to affect your muscles and is going to increase protein breakdown which is going to lead to decreased protein synthesis. And again, you have over there decreased muscle mass. 
this is how cortisol is gonna basically lower your muscle mass in general but something else happens in here when amino acids in here cannot be transferred to outside the liver i'm gonna put in here uh, total amino acids increases in the liver so i'm gonna put in here uh, increased amino acids in the liver right so when amino acids cannot be transferred to outside the liver total amino acids in the liver is going to go up and the other side when we have in here muscle uh, protein breakdown in the muscles in here amino acids increases in the blood you see i'm going to put it increased amino acids in the blood so you can see that we have lots of amino acids in the liver we have lots of amino acids uh, in the blood but you are not able not only to build muscles but also you lose muscle mass what happened next the amino acids in your blood that comes from the protein breakdown in your muscles is going to be carried to the liver right because your liver is responsible for all those amino acids that comes from the protein breakdown in the muscles then uh, we call them amino acid pull in the liver is gonna go up that means your liver is gonna face with a truck load of amino acids so what's gonna happen next your liver is not gonna just sit here sit there and watch your liver is gonna convert those amino acids into glucose that's why blood sugar goes up this is one of the mechanisms how Basically, cortisol can increase blood sugar and how cortisol is going to affect the metabolism of basically protein synthesis and finally muscle mass. We make science easy to understand. Now you know. If you don't want to miss our weekly video, you can subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube. To support us, you can share, like or comment on this video. Until next time, stay safe, stay connected.